Dara Kane, an Arts Westchester teaching artist. Welcome to Arts Westchester's Virtual Arts Workshop. Today we will be making radial relief paper sculptures. I've already made a sample one for you to get a visual. We are going to be learning how to make the kite fold and the triangle fold. Materials you will need are a ruler, a pencil, or a marker, a pair of scissors, glue, and for your base, you can either use really any paper you want, but you can use black, I have black, and I'm using white. But if you have other colors, you can use those. And the paper I used to make the folds, the kite fold and the triangle fold, um, came from magazines that I took out. Pa came from pages from magazines I ripped out. And another source of paper are um, inside bills come these envelopes and um, the envelopes can be opened up and inside the envelopes are a really nice resource, paper resource. There's a lot of different designs that are often printed on the inside of the envelope and um, you can open the envelopes and use them. Here's another one. These envelopes come with bills in your grown-ups mail. and often get thrown away. So you'll be repurposing them. I have a whole envelope already cut up of these envelopes and they're very useful for lots of different art projects. One magazine paper that I want to use for my project, I already ruled out and drew a line. These are two by two inch boxes. So you're going to use your ruler, you're gonna mark two inches across and two inches high, and then you're gonna connect all the lines. Um, so the best way to do it is to do two inches across the top, two inches across the bottom, make your marks, and use the ruler to connect the top and the bottom mark. Um, to make it even. These boxes can get cut with your scissors. I'm cutting mine into strips first. I just find that easier and then I'll just cut the squares. You can actually stack your squares and then cut all of them at the same time. on the side to use later. So my um, base is going to be this black paper and it's radial because we're going to be placing the folded paper on the radius. We're going to get the radius by folding the paper first into a hot dog fold. That's across a vertical fold. This is the opening and then across again into a square. And then we're gonna open our paper and fold it into a taco fold. Okay. Use your nail to make a nice crease. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, folds or eight lines. We're also going to be making a kite fold and a triangle fold. Okay. okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a kite fold. We're going to need one of your two inch square pieces of paper like this. You're going to do a taco fold. 
which is turning this over. You're just going to um, fold this in half into a triangle. And then when you open it up, you're going to fold one side into the fold and then you're going to fold the other side into the fold, making that kite shape. Now the envelopes, which I had told you about, only have a design on one side. So I made sure to have the design on the outside. The inside will just be white. For my radial relief paper sculpture, I need eight kites because I'm going to be gluing these kites around the center of my paper. I'm going to need eight. I've already folded my kites because it takes a little bit of time and I've already prepped them. So let me show you how they're going to go. The points of the kite are all meeting in the center. And I'm going to use glue to adhere the kites to the paper. This is what it's going to look like. The neat thing about this project is that everything is symmetrical because you're working off the line. There's an infinite amount of possibilities um, and I have a bunch of different samples that I've made to show you how creative you can get. So I'm centering my design with the kites and then I'm going to put triangles and I'll show you how to use, I'll show you how to fold those. Okay, first step is done. I'm just going to adjust my kites, make sure they're in the right spots. You can already see the relief, how the flaps are sticking up. That's creating the relief and the dimension. It's looking good. I'm really excited. I'm going to let this dry while I show you how to do the triangle fold next. Um, for my triangle folds, I already pre-selected um, a image from a magazine that I ripped out. And um, it's actually of a painter's floor, so it has a lot of different colors on it. Um, folding this piece of paper in half. And then in half again. It's super easy. Use your nail to really make a good crease. Open it up and then you're just folding the outer edge of the side down to meet the line that you created when you folded it. And then the other side, folding it down. I did cut these um, squares by hand. So if you look carefully, there's a little bit of excess paper right here. And I'm just going to use my scissor now just to trim it off. Just so it looks a little more, there you go, even. But, um, so this is a triangle fold and has those little flaps. I have a bunch already made. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to my kites. These triangles can go either this way on the top part of your kite, point down, or you can place them with the wide side um, across the top. I actually prefer the point down. I think that, that looks good. And my idea for this 
design is to put the triangle ones every other kite. And I already pre-folded four for you today. And I'm going to glue these down because I want to add some kites of a different color in the alternating spots. A little glue on the back, press it down for a few seconds. I like this project a lot because you can um, use a variety of papers. So that creates a lot of interest. You can repurpose things that you have at home. Um, you can also create a lot of different designs. There's so many possibilities. Um, I like the paper folding too that's involved. If you like origami, this is something that you might really enjoy doing. Um, okay, so my next um, step is to put kites in the alternating spots between each triangle. And I'm using this paper, it's green, it's got some color, and I think it'll go really well with this design. I'm going to place it every other kite. Pretty. Again, when you're using magazines or um, envelopes or whatever paper you have uh, lying around the house, you have to decide whether you're which side of the paper you're going to use because, um, as you can see, sometimes it's um, partially hidden. So you have to make a decision about that when you plan your project. There we go. My design is complete. I have the kite fold, the triangle fold, and um, I really like how it's looking right now. I wanted to share with you some other designs that I made just to give you a sense of the possibilities. This is the first one I showed you. I used the kite in the center and then I used two triangles um, radiating out. This one, I actually started with the triangles in the middle. I used four, and then I used two kites inside the triangles, and then I put triangles all around the edges. Um, it's really pretty. It looks like a flower, and you can see a lot of dimension because all the flaps are sticking up. This one is a little simplistic, but I really love the colors and you can see how the blue and the orange really complement each other. And um, even if I don't fill the whole radius, it still has a nice effect. If you like this virtual art workshop, visit artsw.org.